Hey, this is Dr. Bob with Carolina Value Pet Care. I want to talk to you about a really important subject if you have a cat. Now, we know how stressful any time a cat comes to a veterinary clinic or even just gets in a carrier and gets into and gets in for a car ride, uh, the vast majority of cats are really going to be sort of freaked out from the experience. And of course, we obviously want to do everything that we can. There's going to be times where your cat has to travel, um, obviously, to come to us for vaccines or if you're going to be you know, uh, going to, to, be, uh, to be boarded or whatever the situation is. So there are going to be circumstances where your cat's going to need to travel. So anything that we can do to try to make for a better experience for a cat, well, let's give you some tips to see if we can make that happen. So first and foremost, the one thing that I'm going to suggest is that a lot of cats, as soon as they see that carrier, boom, they're gone. They know something's up because they've already made that association between the carrier and an unpleasant experience. So I would strongly recommend if you can start making a habit of letting that carrier or you know, again, whatever sort of a, you know, device that you use to transport your cat in, if you can start making it a habit of leaving that carrier out with some regularity. So it sort of desensitizes your cat to some degree of the sort of the fear factor that's involved. If it's just sitting there and it's not creating any issues, and you've not made any over tours to try to put your cat in the carrier, um, then again, then it's gonna be a little less intimidating when they do see the carrier. At the very minimum, if it's not convenient or feasible for you to, at the very minimum, I would actually encourage you to bring out the carrier for like three or four days prior to a known uh, uh, visit to a veterinarian or, or prior to you knowing you're gonna to need to, to put the cat in the carrier. Um, three to four days ahead of time. So again, to try to desensitize them a little bit. Now, a lot of y'all may be familiar with a couple of products here. Um, this is called Feel Away. This is a classic version. So this is what the box looks like and they do have taller versions and this is what the spray looks like. Um, these can be extremely, extremely beneficial for providing some relaxation for your cat, okay? There is also a plug-in. Now, most people will use the Feel Away really if they have a multi-cat household if there seems to be some tension going on with between you know one or more of the cats we want to try to diffuse those situations and the in the feel away is a great way to to try to, to to assist with that does it work with every cat no but it works the vast majority of the time so it's always going to be worth a try now we get a cat who comes to us and they're you know screaming the whole way on the car ride we will systematically take a single sheet of a paper towel, we'll hit it with a single spray, and actually put the paper towel part into your cat's carrier, and it will actually have a calming effect, and it works pretty, pretty readily. So that is a, this is a really nice way of you trying to prepare your cat as well. So how would you use this if you know that you're gonna be coming to the vet clinic? Well, if, you, if all you have is just the spray, um, you can actually, if you've got your cat's carrier, just once a day, just put a single pump into the cat's carrier and do that for like three or four days prior to, to actually diffusing or before you, you're going to be traveling. The other thing, what you can do, you can actually take like a little bandana, if your cat will tolerate it, not, not all cats will, uh, but if you can take a little cal a bandana or just like a little cloth, put a single pump on there and just tie it around your cat's neck. And most of them, again, most of them will you know, be okay with that. But again, they're getting that constant infusion of that uh, feel away. So that's another way that you can try to uh, get them exposed to, to the feel away to try to reduce some anxieties. Now, right now, the cat doesn't even know it's going to be having to go for a car ride, but you're already taking some action and some initiative to try to make for a better experience for both your cat and consequently for you as well. Now, um, next thing. You got to get the cat in the carrier. So a couple of couple of considerations. So with most carriers, uh, the, gosh, there's so many different types of carriers out there. We've seen the like the little ones that look like little Jetson, you know, backpacks. Those are really cool. Uh, they got the little window bubble. Uh, those are pretty easy because they're they're open up and they zip, and you can try to set your cat in there. The trickier ones, of course, are the sort of the elongated plastic ones. Um, some of them are pretty easy because they actually have little little uh, uh, handles that actually, or little snaps, and you can just unsnap, lift the lid, put your kitty in there. Always, always, always put a towel in there as well because if your cat does pee or if it does poop, 
on the car ride, at least it's going to absorb you know, the pee and also it can sort of you know, hide away uh, from the poop a little bit. So always put a towel in there as well. Put your kitty in the carrier, put the lid on top. Now, you may not have that type of carrier where you can remove the lid uh, easily. If that's the case, uh, what you can try to do, but you're struggling to get your cat in the carrier, I would suggest a couple of things. One, uh, again, please don't let this turn into a, to a rodeo because we, we do get clients come in, they're scratched up and, and everybody's exhausted from the experience. So I would suggest if nothing else, you can try to take a pillowcase and put it over your cat, sort of wrap up your cat and then sort of ease it into the carrier that way. Don't tie off the, the, the pillowcase, of course, you want your kitty to be able to get out of the pillowcase once it's inside the, the carrier. So that's another way you can do it. If it turns into, if, it, if you can't possibly get your cat into a carrier, and again, that does happen. Uh, we've seen people do creative things with laundry baskets, one on top of another, and just take uh, some zip ties or something and just it makes, bring some extra ones, although we do keep some on hand just for that purpose. Uh, and then you can have your uh, kitty in a, in a carrier that way. But always, I would do recommend using a fill away. Another thing that you can use if you just happen to be, gosh, at a, you know, buy a pet store or get a gosh, a you know, retail store, buy a couple of uh, catnip toys. Now they're not going to be as effective as the fill away, but they can have a calming effect on cats. So you can actually put the uh, uh, put the little you know catnip mouse or catnip toy in with your cat, and that can actually have a little bit of a soothing effect as well. Now, as far as once you get them in the, in the road, uh, you get them out of the, out of the car, you're bringing them to the clinic, and this is not just one of our clinics, it can be any veterinary clinic. Um, not a bad idea to put a towel on them, especially, of course, if it's, uh, if there's, you know, depending on the weather conditions, um, or if there's gonna be, you know, quite a few dogs around, we wanna try to minimize the exposure of your cat to strange dogs. Now, those dogs, we don't know those dogs, so we don't know those dogs have a good relationship with another cat at home, or, or if this cat is just a curiosity to them, we don't know, but we don't want to try to stress your cat out with a strange dog. So putting a towel over uh, the top of the carrier can be a big help for these guys. We also strongly recommend, not in the best interest, to put the cat by on your, at your feet, whether you're inside a building or if you're you know, out like in one of our clinics, if you're outside, where another dog can come up to the cat and sort of sniff around in its cage, okay? Because we just don't want a strange dog to be in that space of your cat. If need be, if you're concerned, and if it's possible, depending again on weather conditions, if you want to leave your cat in the car, absolutely fine, and then just bring it in uh, when it's uh, ready to be seen. Otherwise, we can always try to find a place to put your cat within our space um, so we can try to keep it tucked away from other dogs. And uh, um, so try to make for a little bit uh, less traumatic experience. And again, let us know. We are always, always, always happy to. We've got plenty of these. Every one of the technicians um, have these, uh, this feel away spray. We can just give it a pump on a paper towel, as I mentioned, put it in your cat's care. That can be a little bit uh, more of a soothing experience, at least from that moment till, till you get back home, okay? so. Hopefully that'll give you a couple of tips of things that you can do to try to make for a better experience. And uh, we just know that a lot of cats get, uh, they're, they're very, still, you know, they're still not quite as domesticated as dogs for the most part. And so they're just really in tune with their surroundings and anything we can do to try to lessen the sort of the intensity of those surroundings, uh, the better they're going to, better experience they're gonna have and the better experience for you consequently. So hopefully that'll give you some tips of how to try to make for a better experience. And if there's anything else we can help you with, uh, give us a shout and thanks for watching. Hey, Dr. Bob again, just a quick add on to my cat content about how to make for a better experience for a cat. Two things I wanna mention. One, uh, we actually do have two cat only clinics. No dogs, just cats, guaranteed. Now, um, as we're shooting this right now, I am in Kannapolis. This is, uh, we're actually having our cat clinic this afternoon at this particular location. And we use this feel away, and this feel away has been plugged in for more than 48 hours now. Um, so again, to make for a better experience for your cat. So that's one consideration. So we do have cat only clinics twice a month. Uh, both clinics are on a Wednesday from three o'clock to six o'clock. Check our schedule for the one that's gonna be coming up uh, 
uh, closest to you. So no dogs, just cats. Cool experience. The other thing about uh, the Freely Way I want to mention, there are some knockoffs. Do not, do not, do not use the knockoffs. Only Freely Way has been clinically proven to be effective. Um, I'm showing you the Feel Away Classic. They actually have a newer version called Feel Away Optimum, which again is really cool. So it actually does more things. That's what we have plugged in into our wall is actually, this is the, the room diffusers, Feel Away Optimum. Kind of hard to see that, um, but uh, really awesome stuff. So don't settle for like some kind of knockoff brand. You've got to use the Feel Away. So just want to throw that in there to you guys. Thanks for watching. See you soon.